Meantime, in Indiana, members of a Facebook group are taking matters into their own hands. They're trying to catch child predators by luring them in using fake profiles, but their actions have some police and some legal experts expressing a little bit of concern. News Nation correspondent Brian Netton live for us in Indianapolis tonight with this amazing story. Brian. Yeah, Rod, this has really been an eye-opening and disturbing story to work on the last several days here in Indianapolis. We rode along uh, with this group called Predator Catchers Indianapolis. It's a Facebook group. It's made up of civilians, mainly parents, who basically go online and almost do what undercover detectives do. They pose as underage children and they set up meetings with grown adult men and then they actually go and meet with the men and they Facebook Live uh, the entire interaction. Some of these videos have hundreds of thousands of Facebook views. You mentioned it's controversial because police say it's dangerous. Sometimes it can also uh, hurt the prosecution, but they have had some successes. Uh, earlier this year, this group set up a high school band teacher named Brian Boyer, uh, and this is what happened. Take a look. You had a 14 year old girl come to where you work at a high school to have sex. Look, we'll be quiet. Just talk to us. Just what? What? Why the hell are you doing this? Just I, 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 I apologize. I'm a moron. I'm an idiot. I just got carried away. Um, carried away? Yeah. You work I'm, at a school? Are you serious? But I, 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 we, yeah, we can stand here and you can berate me all day, and I can't disagree with you. Are you worried about your safety ever? Yeah, I always worry about it. Um, but it doesn't really stop me. I'm more worried about these kids, to be honest. We're civilians kind of like st uh, taking a stance over these things. We're not taking the law into our own hands, but we're taking a stance, you know, of this evil that's in this world, you know? And the group says that that teacher thought that uh, he was meeting a 14-year-old girl and actually in, was going to invite that girl into the school. He was charged with child solicitation, but uh, I mentioned it earlier. Police have very mixed feelings about what this group is doing. While it does seem to deter the predators, it can be very dangerous uh, for the people participating in the group and even for people uh, who are in public where these uh, meetings happen. Uh, so police say they certainly don't endorse this kind of thing. Well, wow. and Brian, it kind of reminds me of that old news show to catch a predator, very similar to that from uh, from a few years ago. Any numbers on how many folks uh, this group has targeted and how many now have actually been charged by authorities? Yeah, Rob, so the group says that they have caught 75 men in just the last 10 months or so, and they videoed them all live, so they're all on their Facebook page. And out of the 75, about 10 uh, have been prosecuted. So in 10 of those cases, there was enough uh, evidence for police to actually press charges. Ah, riveting report. Brian, thank you so much for that tonight. Your work live for us in Indianapolis.